Okay, I guess you want to draw a 45 degree angle wall here and you don't want these dimensions to change. And so, just for this video, <clears throat> I'm going to write down those, uh, those values. So that's uh, 2, 2, and 3 eighths. 2 foot 2 and 3 eighths. So if, if, if I lose the value, I'll, I'll just have it as a, as a re recollection what that is. Let's see, now this one's uh, 2, 8, and 3 eighths. Okay. I'm going to copy this. And we'll change the value to 2, two foot 8 and 3 eighths. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me check something. And under Edit Preferences, Architectural, I don't, I, I don't use interiors very much. So I have to see what's available. Okay, Appearance. I'm going to use change to uh, Child Icons because I'm used to that. I think it comes out of the box with drop by, uh, drop down, drop down icons. But not a lot of uh, preferences. And that's okay. So <clears throat> we'll go over to the walls, click on the walls, and get an interior wall and just draw your wall. Now look in the taskbar and it'll show. Well, it's gone now. <clears throat> Open the dialog box and it should give me the angle in the uh, wall specification dialog. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, 135 degrees. That's a that's a uh, an analog of 45 degrees. So that's a 45 degree angle wall. And then to put your dimensions back, yeah, I've got this value here saved. I'm going to click on this wall, click on the dimension, and to set it to two foot two and three eighths, two feet. Two and three eighths, and this one's supposed to be uh, two foot eight. See, it changed by three inches. So it's both, but I got this to remind me what the value is supposed to be. So. Uh, <clears throat> I'm assuming these other dimensions are correct. I'm assuming that. Now the easiest thing I could do is just click on this wall, click on that dimension, and then set this value to it. But that would change this value. <laughs> In order to finish this thing up, I really need to know what this value is. By value, I mean the dimension of it. Where's the dimension tool? There they are. Let's draw a dimension on this 45 degree angle wall that we just drew. So I'd have to know this value. Knowing this value and this value didn't help me. I need to know what this value is supposed to be. And also, I can tell just at a glance this is slightly off angle. Let me just deselect. Well, okay, now that now it looks all right. Okay, so this one here, yeah, it's two foot and a half. I need to know this value, and then we could we've set this value here, and then we could then we would set. If I knew what this value is, I would click on this wall, click on the dimension that controls this wall, and then set it to the value that it measures out. That's what I would do, but I don't have that data, so I can't do it with accuracy. But I've shown you the the uh, how you do that. Now th those are those values that I just saved to remind myself what they were. But I need to know what this value is in order to finish this up. Just knowing this value or this value is not is insufficient data. But uh, you just draw the wall, and then click on this wall, click on that value, set that value, and then click on this wall, 
click on this value and set this distance and hopefully then it would we wouldn't have to move this wall because you got it set well, what happened oh <laughs> there we go accidentally and I had control Z that's undo I must have done something that uh, messed all this up uh, <clears throat> And uh, since you're just doing a kitchen, I would turn off auto rebuild roofs. I don't think uh, auto rebuild roofs is going to be very useful to you for just creating one room. Let's uncheck that. And uh, you can just turn roofs off uh, in display options. That's under uh, tools, display options. And uh, we'll hit uh, <coughs> excuse me, the R key for roof planes. Turn those off. They're not really adding thing. Any for a single room, they're not very useful. <coughs> but hopefully that that will help you figure out the uh, how to proceed when you're doing a corner like that. You set this wall by. Uh, let me do it again. We click on. Uh, See, this dimension we want to stay put, so you could click on this wall, click on this dimension, and then that's how I, I got it. And then you would click on this wall, click on this dimension, and set it to whatever that's supposed to be measured at. And then you might have to, <coughs> you might have to uh, redo this one. Making a perfect copy of your house is kind of difficult because the computer has exactly four and a half inch thick walls, and houses have you know, four and an eighth inch walls, five inch walls, five and a half inch walls. <clears throat> if you don't perfectly duplicate that, then your dimensions are going to be off a little bit uh, thereby. So keep that in mind, that uh, your house is not a computer. All the angles are not perfect like in a computer. And so it's not that unusual that you get a, 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 that you can't make things perfect because your house isn't perfect. The angles aren't perfect. You get the idea? Okay, thank you.